Hey guys, and welcome to Car Guy 1999 Reviews as well as Quirk Auto Dealers. Today we have the 2021 GMC Acadia AT4. Probably my favorite Acadia, absolute awesome, and an off road beast. You have these big, beefy off road tires. I think this is an excellent SUV for somebody who lives, you know, up a mountain or something like that. Um, yeah, this thing is just a riot. So the AT4, all AT4s are like this. Uh, brown accents are the theming. Um, so you'll see on your Sierra AT4, on your Colorado AT4, or uh, Canyon AT4, and the Acadia AT4, you'll see the brown stitching throughout. I also have the black plastic, it goes perfect with this white, uh, Summit white. Just absolutely awesome. Total price of 45345 This one's options include the dual skyscrape sunroof, skyscape, uh, the jet black perforated leather, and the trailering pack. There's your skyscape. Good amount of rear seat room. Obviously, it's not a full-size SUV. Well, full size to the extent of the Yukon, but it is functional. Nice AT4 kick plate. Here's more of that brown stitching for you uh, with the AT4 embroidered on the headrest. Also, to continue the brown in here, there's like little brown accents. Uh, you have your stitching still. More stitching, more stitching, more stitching. There's that pattern again. And then here's that pattern once more. A little bit different gauge cluster than the, uh, what's it called, the Denali I was just in. Definitely more analog, but still have all the all the information you ever need right there. Let's go take it for a drive. Now this is the 9-speed auto uh, made it to the 3.6 GM V6. I believe that is standard across the Acadia lineup uh, and it is one of my favorite powertrains offered for General Motors. Uh, same V6 as the V6 Camaro. So think of this as an off-road Camaro. I actually don't think of it that way because there's probably some guy in the comments that's gonna be like, well I built a lifted Camaro. So you know, that's pretty much what it's like, a lifted V6 Camaro hatch. Once we merge onto the freeway, you'll see what I mean. The power in these is absolutely exceptional. 300, over 300 horsepower in a car of this size is very, very much ample for the segment and for this vehicle. And the sound that it emits is even better. Like I said, this is the same motor in the V6 Camaro in the um, Blazer RS, so the sound of this engine is absolutely phenomenal. Should get the green light here any second, bingo. I mean, can't beat that. Oh, 
Also a feature of the 9-speed is PAL, Performance Activation uh, Algorithm Lift Foot. It's either activation or uh, algorithm. So if you just stamp the gas real quick, it'll put you into PAL mode uh, where it holds gears a little bit higher. Uh, and it just overall is more sports oriented. See, now we're in PAL, where it just keeps revs a lot higher. It's also very, very good for uh, downhill braking. Well, obviously not the sportiest uh, Acadia out there with the softer compound off-road tires it actually is not bad at all uh, here we go the painting lines please don't get on the car don't get on the car don't get on the car You also have pedestrian detection. Uh, we'll come up with a pedestrian logo, but you know, you know, if you can't, if you're blind and you can't see the pedestrian, uh, it also detects that, which is pretty good. Get into PAL again. Now, I don't know if there's a trick E differential or something in here, but the second it detects that there might be any understeer at all, you can feel it pull the inside, um, the inside wheels brake to get you around the corner, and it claws around corners better than any SUV should. Um, it's kind of freaky at first until you understand what it's doing. And it might be a sport mode thing, not exactly sure, but it's welcome as it is extremely helpful. Alright you guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video.